welcome back to another part of what if Deku had our key part two if I'm correct I have so many what ifs going on that I can't keep up with them all um for this one I have no images because um let's just say a few things happened in my gallery which caused the whole mix up of well, I had a software update and whole messed up in my gallery. Basically, no images for this video. Promise there'll be images for the next one. Also, there'll probably be no images for the next part of What If Soccer. So, well, there won't be another part for the Chuni exec and half of the Chuni exams where with all the gar and stuff. Or was that also? Uh, there, I'll, I'll explain. I'll check. <laughs> I may have already pre-recorded that. <laughs> And before, I'm going to most importantly, enjoy now. I tell him, or going on that um, little random fist that he doesn't deserve to be there. Deku will relatively place high and would not be attacked by Bakugo. And that's about it. Also, was Mount Lady originally able to, was Mount Lady originally going to teach at UA? Because how big, why well, have that big door? Where they're expecting a giant for the class? <laughs> Anyways, on to the second day, on to the battle trial arc, I think what is it called. Which the costumes wouldn't change much. And time to randomize matchups. Here we are, um, Koji, Koda and Koji versus Deku and Raka, with Koda and Koji being team villain, um, Ju and Kaminari versus Momo and Minata, um, Momo and Minata being villains, Soto and Soji versus Ida and Bakugo, um, Soto and Soji being villains, Kirishima and Shou versus Su and S Tokiyami, or is it Sukiyomi, that was his hero name. Kira, I'm not sorry, soon Kirishima still being villains. <laughs> Mina and Aoma versus Ojiro and Toru or or Invisible Girl. Still wonder how she got into that class. <laughs> um, Mina and Aoma being villains and... Oh wait, Ojiro and Toru were the villains and cannot believe. Or was it both? Oh, Ojiro and Toru. Anyways, no loose in the lane the battle, or I wasn't really done. Let's get started. Um, Koji, Koji, and Ko Koji and Koda versus Deku and Uraraka. I think Deku and Uraraka will take the win in this. Koda will have much animals inside the building. I don't see really bugs, spiders. <laughs> But I don't see many animals, and him being confident enough to really doing anything. Plus, I think Uraraka and Deku will be able to overpower Koji. Wait, who? <laughs> oh no, Koji, Koji. I'm Sugar God. This will be much more easier with the images that compromise me who's who. <laughs> and so, I'm Deku and Uraraka take the victory in this one. Jiro and Kaminari versus Momo and Bonetta. Um, Jiro, this one was hard to decide. I definitely can see Momo working with Bonetta to make a trap with his balls. But, balls, no homo. <laughs> but Kaminari and Jiro would have the adventures in terms of fighting as Momo's quirk is really the only one that can put up a real fight. I wonder why they put Banana in the My Hero Academia video. Now, once justice, I have the second version. <laughs> Plus, Jiro could always hear them discussing what their plan, discussing their plan. So, well, they probably would, would discuss it outside. Or, anyways, point is, Jiro and Kaminari win. On to Shoto and Shoji. Wait, did I just say Shoji? No, that was Koji. Uh -huh. Shoto and Shoji versus Ida and Back Go. Now let's get this. It's an easy one to pick. But I'll have to give it to Soji and Sojo because at this point, Bakugo even stated himself that he was 
not be strong enough to beat Todoroki, and he definitely wouldn't team up with them. You know, Ida, we all know how that ended. <laughs> and I'll see him being able to get past either. Um, so, I still see Shoto freezing the ground and being able to freeze Ida as he did do that in their sports festival match. Freeze Ida in place. So, unfortunately, my favorite character loses, which is Bakugo. Kirishima and Sero on to next match. Kirishima and Sero versus Sue and Tokiomi, Sukiyomi, <laughs> Tokiomi. And another hard one as I can't really see any team taking the edge here. But I'll give it to Sue and Tokiomi because... <laughs> because that's what I wrote in the script apparently. <laughs> Yeah, sure. If I got it. Okay, on to on to um Mina and Almo versus Ojiro and Toru. Yes, sure. If I gotta give it to Mina and I own because the two can definitely beat the two in a fight. Toru would be about um. No offense to her, but she'll be about as useful as well an invisible person without any other powers would be in no stealth missions. Yeah, at this point, she wouldn't have a manipulation of light on um, manga spoilers. <laughs> and, um, wait. And Ojiro would just has a tail against light and acid. <laughs> Anyways, that would be my win. If you disagree, leave in the comments because I get very lonely sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, that ends off the battle trial arc. Um, and we start off, and we start off the next arc, which is the USJ arc. And we start off this arc with a few new characters from One Piece because why not? If I were gonna put them in the thumbnail, why not put them here? <laughs> and this new character will be class one day. We will be the cool, the suave, the perverted, and. <laughs> God, no, he is he is loyal. What's the word I'm looking for? Not well thanks for Ah Charming. Charming is a word. Charming man himself, Sanji Vince Smoke, but he doesn't like to be called by that. Shh <laughs> As his outfit would be his raid suit, if you were wondering that, cause why not? Anyways for quirk name, um I don't know, but it's just basically um his quirk is basically just how strong his feet are. He's basically superhuman. Anyways, he's the same as his can't one piece self and does still act a certain way around most women. <coughs> Perverted half of the time, but no. Otherwise, he's also very. <laughs> I have to go find a word again. Charming. <laughs> Anyways, on to the USJ arc. With the villain test starting off the same with a few changes with a few people. Maybe some candy themes. Some beast looking people. Maybe even a clown. Maybe even a per <laughs> even maybe even a few fishmen attacking Deku and Manana and Asui or Sue. As we get into where all Momo, Kaminari, Sanji, with who will be with them, and of course everyone's favorite earphone Jack wearing Hero Jero. <laughs> Anyways, things would change here as they would fight one of my personal favorite villains, Buggy the Clown. I don't know if you guys have ever heard the best villain in all the anime, the strongest. He can even beat Aizen. Yes, I said Aizen. Bucky the Clown. <laughs> Although he's not as strong as Farmer with the shotgun. <laughs> Who will give him the trouble seeing as he um is, can split his body into parts with his chop chop quirk. <laughs> As he would be separating his body to dodge most of the attack groups attacks except for 
Sanji who would use observation to see where the body parts are coming from. More on that later. And the team would also um probably receive a few cuts from the guy's knives. Anyways, they was told use Kamari to shock Buggy. Well, shock the villains and Buggy. And the villain finishing them off. Maybe Shanti get them. Or right, eyes in the nose be that scene. Mobile's went close. <laughs> oh, dear goodness. As one that one. As that one big guy will come. Sanji would um, easily take him out. By turning himself invisible with his suit. So he can't see him kicking. But he would definitely feel it. And would knock the guy out with two swift kicks. Anyways, from here, things wouldn't change. The arc would end relatively the same. And with that, folks, that will end off this part of the video. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And see you in part three, which will probably take longer to write. <laughs>